The American Office is your typical workplace sitcom full of wacky characters, harmless hijinks, will-they-won't-they they romantic drama, and of course, a brutal serial killer. Oh, you didn't remember that? Despite being a fun comedy about paper salesmen, The Office actually had a running gag about a local serial killer known as the Scranton Strangler. In season six, Andy holds up a newspaper with the headline, Scranton Strangler Strikes Again. One episode showed the gang watch the Strangler's arrest on TV, and human resource drone Toby even became a juror on the trial, later confessing that he feared he helped sentence an innocent man to death. Oh, yeah. Could this mean the real Scranton Strangler is still at large and maybe even one of the cast members we know and love? A lot of fans certainly think so. It's not hard to see why, considering that the show's producer promised explosive twists in the final season, adding that the killer would be unmasked. And so, even though revealing one of the characters was secretly a serial killer seemed like an odd fit for a show built on unrequited crushes and awkward silences, the internet went full Miss Marple trying to figure out who the hell it was. Let's look at the suspects. The most obvious choice seemed to be Creed, the office's resident sketchy old man. Most damningly, in one episode, he runs away after mistaking a murder mystery game for a genuine investigation. Another time, Creed comes to work on Halloween wearing a blood-spattered shirt, despite not knowing it was Halloween. That is really, really good timing. Some internet conspiracy theorists believe it to be the needlessly creepy Gabe, Toby himself, and even Pam's ex-fiancé Roy, who has a known history of violence. Dwight dresses the Strangler for Halloween, so he's on the list, but one BuzzFeed writer proposes the most shocking choice of all. America's sweetheart, Jim Halpert. Think about it. Jim Halpert is an effortless liar who spent eight years torturing his office mate Dwight and borderline stalking his office crush Pam, even though he knew she had a fiance. So we know he's not the most morally spotless guy. But okay, being a serial killer is a big leap from being a bully. How about the fact that the Strangler only strikes when Jim is in Scranton and never when he's working in Stamford or out on the road promoting his new company? Could this floppy haired, amoral sociopath have been the terror of Scranton the whole time? I mean, Probably not, the evidence is kind of flimsy, but it is the unwavering belief of this website that he definitely was. Thank you, Scranton Strangler. I love you. You just took one more person's breath away. Yeah! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching whatever that video is. Uh, we are unrelated to it, but if you want to see an exclusive video about Crack Studios Project We're Not Alone, make sure you sign up for our shows on Amazon Prime, which you can do in a link below. Watch it for exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else.